how do I know the menstrual flow is over and I can start praying? Basically, your menstrual flow is over when the blood stops and you see complete dryness. You can test that by placing a piece of cotton or a white piece of cloth and if it comes out absolutely clean, it's over. If some redness, yellowness or brownish discharge shows up, you are not quite yet done. Also, one of the distinguishing signs for the end of menstrual flow is the white discharge. The moment you see the white discharge, vacation is over. Get back to prayers and fasting. And after this white discharge, any secretion, any yellowish discharge, just don't be concerned about it. Because that is not considered head or menstrual flow. Umm Atiyah anha said, We did not bother about any yellow or brownish discharge after a woman's period was over. But you should not rush because the yellowish discharge which immediately follows the bleeding before the white discharge is still part of your menstrual flow. Women used to send small containers in which were rags with traces of yellow on them to Ummul Mu'mineen Aisha radiallahu ta'ala anha and she would say, do not hasten until you see the white discharge. So in a nutshell, complete dryness with absolutely no yellowness or brownish discharge means it's over. White discharge means it's over. Any secretion after white discharge, it is not head. But if it is normal for you to see the white discharge at the end of the menstrual flow, then you should not rush. Wait until you see it. Now once the menstrual flow is over, you take a ghusl, a complete bath, and your routine should come back to normal. You will have to make up for your obligatory fasts if you have missed any, but you do not make up for your prayers. And these are the rulings for those who have a regular menstrual flow, head. That is the flow comes almost regularly. But some sisters experience a non-stop flow throughout the month or it stops for just a day or two. This is not head. It is called istihada. And the ruling concerning it is completely different from menstruation. I will inshallah discuss about this specific condition in one of the later clips. In the next clip, we learn the manners and etiquettes of ghusl. Stay connected to the Striving Muslima blog muslima.qsep.com